I found something even cooler than the green dot beetle we featured a while back. back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly so if that's something that interests you please consider subscribing to the channel. So today I am advertising Alternative Inverts rocking this t-shirt I was gifted from them a fair while back. In fact I think I won it actually. I can't quite remember. There's the back. I haven't shown it off for a little while because I actually couldn't find where I put it until today. So if you haven't seen Alternative Inverts make sure to go check out their YouTube channel. Anyway to the point of this video I have found yet another really cool beetle here in the UK. This one is the lesser stag beetle. Dorcas parallelopipedus, commonly known as the lesser stag beetle. This species is commonly mistaken to be a female of the much rarer Lucanus cervus. You know, the stag beetles where the males have the really cool big mandibles. Well, females look similar to this, but they are larger and there are some differences too. So how can we distinguish them? Well, these, commonly called the lesser stag beetles, can be deterred from the L service by not only size, these being a smaller species, but the fact that these also stick to a uniform black coloration across the head and the body, as well as the legs. Aside from, of course, the small bands you can see between the segments. Whereas in the L service, especially in the males, you can see a sort of burgundy coloured wing case instead of just the plain black that you see here. To distinguish males and females within these lesser stag beetles can be size proportion of the head. Males have a much bulkier head. They also have sort of little rigid lumps on the top of their mandibles. I believe this to be a female specimen Although, as I've said before, beetles are not my forte. But I cannot see the rigid lumps that you do on the males. And her head seems a tad more slender than photographs I have seen of a male. Lesser stag beetles tend to grow to roughly an inch. Some a little bit smaller, some just over. Again, a lot smaller than their relative species. <laughs> Look at it hiding away there. Now these guys can commonly be seen between May and September. I say commonly, but this is actually the first time I've seen one in years. Before the summer months are over and their lifespan comes to an end, these guys will mate and lay their larvae, especially inside rotting wood. Both the adults and the larvae will feed off this decaying wood. They tend to stick to more broadleaf trees such as ash, beech and maple. Now although this one is pretty calm and not moving around much, they can actually fly, but they tend to only do this when they're looking for suitable places to deposit their larvae. Now as this one is pretty freshly hatched, I wouldn't say she's mated yet, so I will be setting her free after this video so she can continue her lifespan. Had I have proof she was gravid, I might have kept her so that I could have her offspring and set them free next year. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I completely forgot something. I'm really, really sorry to interrupt in the middle of this video, but I have to pop this in here. I have to give a massive shout out to a new patron yet again. So a big shout out and thank you to Roberta or Bobby, however you prefer to be called. So again, guys, if you are interested in becoming a patron, the link is always in the description below. It really, really helps me out. These guys that have been signing up lately are making a world of difference to my maintenance and buying of new animals. So if you do want to support me that bit further, we can get some right crackers in this collection and I can show them off, especially for you guys. Anyway, back to the video. Cheers. I really do appreciate those sort of golden bands between the segments though. I think that's really, really fascinating. I'm afraid guys, I won't be showing the footage of setting this one free because I promised to do so with my daughter. And as you know, I don't really show her on my YouTube channel. But I really wanted to share this beetle with you because it is a true beauty. And as I said, the last time I saw one was around two years ago. And as far as memory serves, that is the only other one I've seen. But they are supposedly quite common unlike their relatives, the L service that we have mentioned a few times. 
So if you want to find these guys, rotting wood is your best bet. Now I actually believe that this one came in a pile of rotting wood I collected from my local woodlands. I gained this wood actually for other larvae. And then found this lady walking around my garden. So it's possible I may have more within that rotting wood. I'm going to have to go and double check it all now. I also love how the light just seems to bounce off her body. She is truly remarkable, right? Can you let me know in the comments below? Have you ever seen these lesser stag beetles? Or are you going to go for a hunt for some? Because now's the perfect time, ladies and gents. So there's not a huge amount more I can say on this particular beetle. But if anyone would like to add any further information into the comments for my viewers to read, I'd be very, very grateful. As I said, they are not my forte. But I like to share anything creepy crawly on this channel. Could you also let me know, guys, if you have seen the L service, the traditional style stag beetle, because I've never seen one and I've always, always wanted to. Now, guys, I'm not going to be filming her for much longer, just for the fact that she does try and scuttle into the undergrowth where the rotting wood is below the moss and hide within the leaf litter. And I don't want to keep pulling her out just for you guys to see. But as I said, I just had to share her with you. So guys, how are you finding my shots here on Kamora Bee? If you don't know what that is, it's the animal filming area for which I'm filming her on right now. If you haven't watched that video, this whole setup is actually within the realm, my current room. I just have a naturalistic setup here for filming my animals and I want to know how well I'm doing. Is it something you want to continue to enjoy on this channel? I hope so, because I have been really, really enjoying filming on here. I can't keep my eyes off her. What a beetle, eh? Now, we showed a beetle not that long ago as well on this channel, the green dock beetle, and I just thought it would be nice to share another beetle you can find here in the UK, and in Europe, of course. Oh, I did forget to show you a size comparison. So here is my hand, and here is the beetle. So she's of a hefty size, guys. Not gigantic, not like some of the exotic animals we keep here, but pretty big for a beetle found in my garden, right? So, if you want to see what else dwells within the realm, make sure to pop back weekly for multiple videos. I'm going to leave this one here. Let's say goodbye to our lovely lady as she won't be featured again on the channel. I'm quite sad to let her go, but it's the right thing to do. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Take care. Bye-bye.